Hey guys, Naomi here. Now for today's video is about transfers and I want to talk about Pape Gai, the French Le Havre player, plays as a defensive midfielder and also as a central midfielder, has been linked to Arsenal. And why I wanted to bring this up is to do with the fact, the matter of the fact that everybody is comparing this guy as being a combination between Kante and Pogba. Now, I mean, two really good players in Kante and Pogba, and we're in for him. Right now, he is 21 years old, so still relatively young. Not super young like a Martinelli or a Saka, but a good age for a player in, in Pape, Pape Gai. He is well over six foot, six foot two six foot three um is what i could see from here online uh and an absolutely fantastic player um looks like a real good prospect and just when i'm kind of doing these videos and doing the research around these videos like you could start to see a trend kind of building up and arsenal are looking at younger players to really build their side on i think that there'll be a core like senior pay players of about maybe four or five senior players and when i mean senior i mean like 24 and above or the ones that have been at arsenal for at least three or more years they're the ones that are going to be the senior players hector bellerin will be a senior player uh to be honest right now um he's a senior player david louise is a senior player because of his age the likes of Aubameyang and lacazette and i think mixing that with a lot of the young talent is going to help the squad out and I thought, you know what, let's check this guy out. I've, I've said in previous videos what Arsenal need. And looking at a defensive midfielder in this mode with these characteristics, I think is, is perfect. So he can also play as a central, central midfielder as well. I mean, obviously, someone who is like Kante and Paul Pogba gets around the pitch very well. I mean, very well almost kind of glides a lot like Paul Pogba in the way how he dribbles with the ball and runs but he he likes to go in for a tackle uh, and he's the type of player who would complement someone like a Lucas Torreira very very well he for me would be the second part of the jigsaw to create this midfield three that would be absolutely perfect. So for me, I've said it before, midfield three would contain someone like a Pape Gai, Lucas Torreira, and you want somebody further forward in that attacking role, but you want somebody that could almost score goals like a striker, but probably isn't a striker, but also be able to play in midfield as well. And I don't know what that player looks like, yeah, or I, I know there are rumours about James Madison, but I'm not talking about James Madison because it's just not going to happen. Like, we are not signing James Madison from Leicester. It's just not going to happen. But Pape Guy right now at La Havre, really good, talented player. Defensive midfielder, very versatile. He's got the height. He's probably he's going to give us the ability to head the ball in midfield, give us the ability to hold the ball up. And again, he's 21. 21 years old like it's fantastic that's what i want to see like these are players that arsenal could bring in and under arteta he could develop and bed in and really become a really good talent and i like that and right now he's valued at only 1.5 mil which is definitely with all all the rumors that are going on on him he is not going in for our 1.5 mil. He's going to be a lot more than that. And I would normally, when I look at kind of transfer values, you tend to see them be about double what you normally see online. So there's no way he's going for 3 mil. Not with a club like Arsenal going in there. Not when I've heard the likes of Leicester and Newcastle and Manchester United or even um, I've, I've looked at him as well. With that type of profile of clubs it's not going to happen 10 mil will be what it is and i think as long as arsenal 
go there and show him that we want him. And you know what? Why not call Arsene? Call Arsene Wenger to say, hey, can you go talk to this player for us and help bring him to Arsenal? Like, I know it's Eddie's job to do doing these type of things, but come on, the French on French connection is, is what we want. Like, we need to utilise these things. And let's get this over the line. And finally, I wanted to talk about another rumour that has, has been coming around. around. And he, it's not of a current Arsenal player, but a former one. Aaron Ramsey. Now, Aaron Ramsey has left Arsenal. He left Arsenal in the summer, shed the tears, you know, sorry to see him go, but you, you got to understand what it is, and it was all for the betterment of the club to save money and, and not to give him a, a 200 grand a week contract. Completely understand. He left Arsenal with a lot of the fans saying, we'll miss you, Aaron Ramsey, and, and thank you very much for everything. Before I got, like, a lot of people don't know this, I ended up collapsing at the Emirates Stadium and right getting rushed to hospital. I saw Aaron Ramsey's last goal for Arsenal against Napoli. These are the memories that I have of Aaron Ramsey. And he's now been rumoured to be linked with Juventus and, or well, away from Juventus. And what is the situation now? All the stories are talking about, particularly from The Sun and from the Daily Express, that Pat, uh, Pat Sari isn't very happy with Aaron Ramsey, doesn't really particularly like him. And you know what I thought would be a good question to ask? Uh, and this goes to all the fans. Would you take Aaron Ramsey back at Arsenal? Think about it. W would you take Rambo back? Let me put another situation um, with you there, uh, just to be kind of be devil's advocate. With all the rumours of Arsenal reshaping the squad, all these players leaving, like Aubameyang, like Lacazette, like Socrates, like Ozil, would you bring him back in then? Because my, always, my argument was always that you can't be bringing... You can't be paying Aaron Ramsey that big of money when you've got a, a Lacazette on big money, you've got Ozil on big money, you've got a Bamiag on big money. If you get rid of all of those three, just in particular, then you could bring in, then you could invest in an Aaron Ramsey in his kind of later years and more experienced years of, of his career to give something back to the Arsenal. So I'm going to leave it with you guys now. We all know Aaron Ramsey's pedigree. I don't need to list it all here for you guys to know. I mean, yes, it's only one season with Juventus. So I'm going to ask you straight. Would you take Ramsey back? My answer to this, if we get rid of Ozil, particularly Ozil for me, and obviously if we don't bring in Danny Ceballos on a permanent contract, which I don't think that we will, then why not? Especially, especially if he wants to come back. If he wants to come back and we are rebuilding the squad, let's do it. Why not? If we're going to be getting in money from other players, we're going to need senior players in certain position. Why not that one? But guys, leave your comments below on what do you think about Aaron Ramsey and my thoughts on potentially coming back to Arsenal. He is rumoured to Manchester United as well. And you know what? I mean, my thoughts on that is, you know, Fabregas went to Chelsea. If he went to Manchester United, especially if United are, are in the Champions League, then it wouldn't bother me too much. Just don't go to Tottenham. Like, don't go to Tottenham, Ramsey. Like, I, I will take every positive that I've ever said about you. Do not go to Tottenham. And it was the same thing about Giroud. Don't go to Tottenham. But leave your comments below. Comment, like, continue to subscribe. Yeah, and I will see you all next time. Peace.